Father, we thank you. We praise your holy name. We lay our lives before you. We declare that you are our Father. We are your children. We are now your sons and your daughters who have taken full responsibility by way of availing ourselves in the advancement of your holy agenda, your vision, your mission. Father, even as we are gathered here tonight, continue to enlighten us by the Holy Spirit concerning your vision, concerning what you are keeping us alive for, concerning the specific things you want each and every one of us to do for you. Jesus, we remember our words where you say, you people did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you so that you may bear fruit for me, Jesus. Father, help us to be delivered from religion, from routine Christianity, wherein we just come to church for the sake of going to church or coming to church. But may we realize that we are saved to save our Savior. Oh, I pray for these people, Lord, each and every one of them. We shall account one day for how we have used this life to your benefit. People of God, pray. Everyone will account one day as to how you have used the life God gave you to his benefit. Because it could be we live only to benefit ourselves and forget about benefiting our life giver. Pray somebody. We are here, Lord, to avail ourselves to your holy agenda. May it be upon us and in our hearts to live our lives for you. May you be the priority of our existence. May you be the priority of our existence day after day. The Bible says you have rescued us out of the hands of our enemies. Out of the hand of Satan who used to push us to live our lives the wrong way. You came through to rescue us so that we might save you in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. Help us, Master. Help not only this congregation, but help every Christian in this nation, I pray. I stand in the gap for every Christian in this nation. I stand in the gap for every believer in this land, every believer in the continent of Africa, every believer in the whole earth, wherever they are. Spirit of the living God, our help. Don't be quiet in terms of reminding us what we are alive for. The Bible told us that God was going to put you in us, Holy Spirit. In Ezekiel 36, 27, so that you can move us, oh my God, move us to live our lives in line with the divine purpose of Jehovah, our Savior. Move our lives, Lord, to obey your holy statutes our lives so that we all live our lives to please you, to serve you, to worship you, to be instruments in your hands. Many lived and died before finding salvation. As we are here, they are crying and wailing in hell. There's no return. We are blessed people because we still have a chance to correct all wrongs, to fix things that needs to be fixed, to search and discover your perfect will. We still have that chance. Oh my God, everyone pray. We still have a chance.
us Lord to align ourselves we cannot play games Lord when people are dying live right and center before our eyes if we are still not serious even now that we will then we will never be serious Father, I pray for these people gathered here. I pray for all Christians in this nation. Revive that seriousness. Help us to remember that we are pilgrims. We are people going somewhere. We are people who We'll encounter a day where we'll depart from this earth, exit this world. I pray, my God, that you help all your people to live their lives for you. Pushing your agenda, pushing your mission. Holy Spirit, please don't be silent on us. Don't, don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop prompting us. Don't stop speaking to us. Don't stop reminding us what we are life for. Please, don't stop. Oh my God, don't stop. You are the builder of the church. You are the one who has come to establish us in the will of God. Don't stop. Everyone pray, say, Holy Spirit, don't stop speaking to me. I don't want to to meet the day of my departure from this world and discover that I'm disqualified on the other side. Don't stop. Pray somebody. Mandala basaka. Shapa katala basaka baba yanda. Lendo kastelenda masia makata. Don't stop Holy Spirit and help us to know that every opportunity given to us to come together to worship you to pray it's a very crucial my God opportunity that we cannot joke with everyone pray Lando Castellenda Masia Makata Sango so shama kata slapanje kora la baselo babanju e batunji we gumnyama liashunya elo abeva tuktiwa and the God of this world, the devil, your enemy, has blinded their hearts, shut their minds to the gospel reality. Oh my God, can someone pray? Oh Lord, help us who have already found light. Help us not to joke. Help us, Lord, to be serious. May we not receive the grace in vain. Oh my God. Lando Castellenda Messiah. May we not wait for someone to push us to save you. May we take it upon ourselves that in my lifetime I will serve my Savior. I will serve my life giver, the one who keeps me alive. Because to remain alive is a privilege, it's a blessing from God. Oh, can we pray? Oh, Shana Lima Saka Maya. Father, have mercy. Awaken us. Awaken us. Awaken us. Awaken us. See, fools and goes from all slumber. All slumber. All slumber. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Have mercy. Whatsoever we need to correct in our conduct, in our life, in our life order, don't be silent. Push us to correct what needs to be corrected. Because death does not make an appointment with anyone. It just comes and snatch a person out of this world. May we maximize on the today. Oh, Shamalinda Kumas Talaya. May we maximize on the today. May we do the right we need to do today. May we align ourselves with you, Jesus, today. Have mercy on us. Offside your will. Please, Lord, I'm begging you. People of God pray. Oh, Shanalinda Masoya. Uzungasiegeli. Uzungasiegeli. Oh, 
Zimalinda kunanda la masai. Ashe peke televesi. Zetele be 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 sian. Zima kutala masaka baba. Zana lende masia makata. La prohashanda kabase. I cry. I plead with you, Holy Spirit. Ungang yege elimine justice. Continue to perfect me. Continue to refine me. Continue, Holy Spirit, to perfect us, I pray. And I pray for every member of this church, all the families, all the men, all the women, oh my God, even the young men and young women, Lord. I pray, Holy Adonai, align us to your will. May we not be like the people of this world. You said we must be different. We are the church. Church means ecclesia. Called out ones. Set apart ones. Lord, may we live lives that are set apart for you. Oh, Holy Adonai. Zendelebebesia makata. La broka pasa taka pasa zinda linda masui amakata zetele be 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 zanda la baba zeke shata la bakasa ola makaya anda kamaza ya mashaka Lord we worship you Lord we praise you Lord we glorify your holy name May my prayer be registered in the archives of heaven that have pleaded with you for everyone. Let there be no one who visit the grounds of this building. Let there be no one who comes and be part of this assembly who will continue to live an indifferent life. A life that does not give a damn about God. A life that does not care about the God mission and agenda. Lord I pray what would become of that person on the day of departure. My God have mercy. Have mercy Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. 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 Move us by the Holy Spirit. You made each and every one of us. You know how to access us. You know how to speak to us. You know how to speak to each person Lord. Holy Spirit of the living God I submit these people to you. And I officially admit they are not mine. They are yours. I'm your I'm a custodian on your behalf, Lord. I'm your appointed servant to watch over your flock. But I've got no power to cause them to be truly devoted to you. You are the builder of the church. You are the builder of their relationship with you. All I'm able to do is to teach them your word by your grace. But the one who, who helps them to do the word they learn is you, Holy Spirit. Jesus said, when you have come, after you have come, You'll convict people of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. You've come to teach us all things, especially to live lives in a way that honors God. Only you are able to do that. You are the able teacher. You are the able coach. Spirit of the living God. I pray, Lord. I pray, my Father, that you work through me to help each and every one of the members of this assembly to be aligned to your perfect will every remaining day of their lives from this day going forward every day keep on waking 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 in us holy spirit waking in us waking in us waking us sense of god we are here just ask god lord you made me you know what you want me to be keep on waking in me keep on waking in me waking me waking me waking me keep on doing what needs to be done in me Hey, Lord, above all, keep on aligning us, Lord, to your perfect will. Because the Bible told us that it's not everyone who will pass from this world and proceed to heaven. But it's only those who have done the will of God. That's what we desire. To be people who are living our lives according to the will of God. Father, I destroy every influence and an anointing of Satan. I rise in the order of Luke 10, 19. I 
crush every interference of your enemy, the devil, in the life of every member of this church. I rise in the order of Luke 10, 19, where you said, Behold, I give you the authority to tremble upon serpents and scorpions, and I give you power over all the power of the enemy. The enemy is the devil. He is your enemy. He is the one who is intercepting all your plans. He is the one who specializes in disturbing God's people in their walk with their God. He is the one who distracts us so that we are obstructed from doing your will. Father, I rise against all demonic evil spirits that have been sent to come and hoover, to come and operate on these grounds in this church. I destroy every satanic anointing. I destroy every satanic interference. I crush every Jezebel spirit. Every Jezebel spirit. Every Jezebel spirit. I destroy every evil negative spirit that has come to invade the church, to disturb the church. In the name of Jesus, all those that have been captured by your enemy, the devil, I deliver them according to the order of Luke 10, 19. Devils are cast out. Demonic spirits, my demon of we cast you out of worship center. We cast you out. We cast you out. We cast you out. We cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. I say go. Demons of laziness. Demons of slumber. I destroy you. I cast you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cast you out. I cast you out. In the order of Mark 16, 17. I cast you out. I cast you out. I'm a believer in Jesus. Therefore, I've got power and authority to cast you out. Devils of darkness. I cast you out. Devils that destroy the church. I cast you out. Devils that destroy the church. I cast you out. Devils of darkness. I cast you out. Jesus Christ is Lord here. This church was built for the sole purpose of worshiping God. Our gathering is a gathering that is for the sole reason, sole purpose of worshiping our God. Everyone who comes to this church, they come to submit first to Jesus, secondly to me as the servant of Jesus in this house. Therefore, Satan, hear the word of the Lord. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. All your agenda, your maneuvers, we scatter them by the blood of Jesus. We destroy you at once. Worship center, we chase away, we cast out all demonic and satanic agents that we have planted in the church, that we have planted on these grounds. We destroy, we destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Holy Spirit of the Living God. I need not remind you or tell you that it's never by might nor by power. There's nothing we can do without your backup. There's nothing we can do without your help. You came to be our helper. Holy Ghost! Don't let your enemy, the devil, destroy the church, destabilize the church, weaken the church. Oh, Holy Ghost, where are you? Lift up your standard. Oh my God. Can somebody pray? Lift up a standard, Spirit of the Living God. Lift up a standard. Lift up a standard in the order of Isaiah 59, verse number 19. Lift up a standard. 
Holy Spirit, lift up a standard. Makata zata kapasaya. Olaba siya makata. Destroy every agenda of your enemy, the devil. Every scheme, every conspiracy, every maneuver. Arise, oh God, on behalf of the church that you bought with your own blood. Arise, holy Aduna. People of God say, Arise, oh my God. Destroy our destroyers. Destroy what attacks us. We are your people, holy Aduna. Pray, 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 pray. Arise, 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 arise. Arise on behalf of worship center. Arise on behalf of your people. Arise on behalf of your church. We are the body of Christ, your son. Arise, oh God. Worship and rise and shine. Worship and rise again and shine. Worship and rise. People of this church, break loose and break free from every interference of the enemy. Break loose and break free from every interference of Satan. Be sold out to Jesus. Jesus. Live for Jesus. Oh, Shama Katala Basa. Le Proka Pazata. I decree and I prophesy that worship center is a church of men and women who are sold out to Jesus. Worship center is a church of men and women who shall pursue holiness. Worship center is a church of men and women who shall practice unity and one accordness. Division has got no place in this church. Worship center is a church of men and women who shall love one another, they respect one another. Worship center is a church of men and women who will keep on coming to church, attending services with zeal and passion, who will be sold out to the Jesus mission. I decree and I declare. That worship center is a church of men and women who will grow the kingdom of God. They will grow the church of God by inviting their friends, their colleagues, their peers, their workmates, their family relatives. They will keep on inviting them to Jesus and to the church. Worship center is a fruitful church. Satan will not succeed in destabilizing worship center. Do you hear me, devil Lucifer Draco? You will not succeed in destabilizing this church. I decree and I declare between now and December, no one will die in this church. No one will be admitted in hospital. We speak life. I speak life. Life, life, life. Upon every member, there are they are protected. They are shielded by this prayer. This decree I've just made. The Bible says I shall decree a thing. And it shall be established for me. Oh Lord my God. I declare that every member of this church. Will fully participate. Fully participate. In pushing the vision. They will participate. In what we do in this assembly. No. No one will be a spectator. No one will be a sit woman. All of them will find their place. Oh my God. Of serving in this house. Jesus I declare. Worship center is yours. You are the founder. You founded this church by me and through me. You are the owner. You are the overseer. You are the great shepherd. Whoever attacks this church church attacks you direct. Jesus! Whoever attacks this church attacks your property. He attacks your, your heritage. Arise lion of the tribe of Judah. Defend what is yours. Fight for what is yours. Defend us Lord. Stand with us Almighty God. 
and scatter every enemy. Preserve the families of this church in the name of Jesus. Preserve, Almighty God, the families of this church, all of them, according to that declaration wherein you said the gates of hell will not prevail, Satan will not prevail in destroying your church. Preserve every man, every woman, every girl, every boy. I cover them with the blood of redemption. Wherever they go, let the blood be a covering of their lives. Let there be guardian and protection angels. I said, let there be bodyguard angels assigned and deployed on behalf of each and every member of this church. Watch over your flock, holy Adonai. And let those, my God, who are members of this church, but are walking in rebellion, stubbornness, disobedience, and disorder. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of the living God, descend upon them. Holy Spirit of the Father, let your influence supersede every other influence. Reign supreme, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord. It shall be as I prayed. It shall be as I prayed. I said it shall be as I prayed. I said it shall be as I prayed. Because I didn't pray my own idea. I prayed your heart, your will, your desire concerning the church. And you are watching over your way to perform it. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we worship you forever and ever. Oh, hallelujah.